Since the dawn of civilization, humans have pondered about the universe around them. They have wondered about the motion of the cosmic objects, like the sun, the moon, the planets, and the stars. They have tried to explain the nature and the constituents of objects around them. They have tried to understand how we are able to see and perceive things. The march toward an understanding of the basic laws of nature has been slow and tedious. As examples, it took almost 2,000 years to debunk the Aristotelian idea that all objects are made of four elements, earth, fire, air, and water, and realize that they are made of indivisible tiny objects called atoms. It took almost 1,000 years before vision was understood as not being through the striking of light rays emitted by the eye on the object to perceive things such as its color, shape, and size, but as the light scattered from the objects into the eye. And it took about 1,500 years to move from a geocentric model of the planetary system, in which everything, including the sun, the moon, the planets, and the stars, revolved around the earth, to a heliocentric model, in which the sun is at the center and the planets, including earth, revolved around it. Through the millennia, some common observations like thunder and lightning in the sky and solar eclipses when earth becomes dark during the day appeared very mysterious, and a lot of myths grew out of their observances. The cover of mystery started lifting with the advent of science and scientific thought. The modern era of science that started in the 16th century brought rational thinking to the fore and led to a belief that every phenomenon in this world and the cosmos should have a rational and scientific explanation. At the end of the 19th century, the universe appeared to be completely understood from a scientific point of view. The main conclusions were, we live in an infinite, three-dimensional universe that has existed forever. Time is completely independent of space and flows uniformly from the past to the present and then on to the future. All the objects in this universe obey laws that are completely deterministic. If we apply a force, any kind of force, we can predict the response very precisely. Light is a wave and a ball is a particle. There is no doubt about it. Light cannot behave like a particle and a ball cannot behave like a wave. There is no limit to how fast we can move. It is just a matter of building suitable machines and devices that would take us far, very far, at speeds with no limit. All the matter in the universe consists of the smallest particles, called atoms. These atoms are like small solid spheres, and all the objects are made by stacking these atoms one on another. The ultimate vacuum is where there is no movement whatsoever and no energy present. All objects that we see around us are real. They continue to exist even when we do not look at them. 